Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I am doing an open cup and a swipe. I've been doing a swipe series and I want to continue with that for a little bit longer. We'll see how this one goes. <laughs> so from my last painting I had a lot of paint left over which I've scraped up and mixed into this beautiful blue colour. So that's going to be my main colour because I've got heaps of it left. So to go with that, I've got cobalt hue, then a dark color, which is a mix of cobalt hue and Prussian phalo blue. Then on this side, I've got my metallics. I've got the Deco Art Sheen uh, Aquamarine, a Montmartre Pistachio, which is quite a pretty color. And then I've got my Liquitex Iridescent White and some Amsterdam, I think it's just called Gold. Um, but I've also tipped a tiny bit of 24 karat gold in there as well. And then I've just got my swipe mix here, which is uh, Amsterdam Titanium White, which I might also pour a little bit in as well. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to pour down a base of this color first. This has got, it's got uh, the Prussian phalo blue. It's got um, cobalt blue. What else has it got? Uh, it's got a little bit of greyish blue. It's got some white. It's got some iridescent white. And it's got some of the Deco Art Aquamarine. So it's a big mixture of colours, but it's um, quite pretty. Is that enough? I'm going to put a bit more because I've got lots of it. So. No, a bit more. You can actually see variation in the colour. Maybe I didn't mix it quite enough. So I don't use this spinner very often. I've got my half a cup cut off. Um, I like this because it's got a bit of a lip on there for it to float. Let's start with the dark colour. Seems I have the most of that one. One of the first, my very first canvas that I did was actually an open cup. And then I did swipe through it afterwards. I had done a few, just adding a bit of that gold in. I had done a few um, on tiles to start with, but then Then I wanted to have a go to canvas. And I it didn't I didn't use this cup, I used a different cup. Uh, and it didn't work that well. So I started swiping. My swipe technique wasn't very good back then. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of the uh, swipe mix. I'm gonna use my older swipe mix. Gold next to the blue last time. I want to do that. Let's get your iridescent white. Iridescent white and some of the aquamarine, and then we'll do the gold next to the aquamarine this time. Can't see anything coming out yet. I'm not really sure how full you go with this. Uh, let's go the dark colour with the gold, maybe. see some dark spots over here. Now I did put the dark colour in first, so I'm guessing that that might actually be coming out. I 
Oh yeah, it's coming out now. Cool. It's coming out that side first. I'm worried it's not coming out this side. Uh, I'm just going to a little bit this side. Or maybe it's weighted. So I'm going to turn that around and it might weight the other way. That's really pretty. Cool. This would be a good experiment. If it starts moving that way, you know it's the weight of it. That's incredible. Starting to run out of paints though. We are getting some coming out here now. Got a bit of Prussian blue in here. I don't know what it's like though. Try it out. do tiny amounts now because we are gonna get we're gonna start losing it off the edge here which I don't really want to happen so I'm gonna have to pick up the pace Drop of iridescent white. Okay. It's really like pearl or something like that. I don't know if it's light enough. Now the question here is what am I going to do with the metal? Just spinning it a little bit. People would like to do this drag thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to be any good at that. But that's why I've got my swipe ready to go. I might do a little bit of a, a lip. sure about that but my idea here is to swipe the middle okay let's get my swipe tool ready just gonna do some little design and see if I can make anything interesting.
All right, let's get some swiping happening. Now, let's use that smallest palette knife that I have. And do I want to keep it just to the middle? Maybe I should do a row around the outside. Might go onto the edges there. All right, so I want to leave this and I'm going to swipe through around there. Let's see how that goes. Something like that. Okay, it's all tipping off now, so I'm going to give it a spin. I just need a little bit of paint on these corners. I've still got a bit of lacing there and through here. That's crazy. If I spin again, I'm going to lose that. So I don't know if I want to. Because I want to keep that little bit of lacing there. This is going to look pretty cool when it's dried, I think, because. Uh, of all the shine. It's like pearl. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it like this because I like that lacing through there. I wish it was on the other corners as well, but uh, this is a centerpiece for sure. This is really, really different. Here is the wet result. 
And I haven't taken it off the spinner yet because it's quite awkward to do that. Um, hopefully I'm not going to damage it when I take it off. But let's have a look. It's so pearl. <laughs> or opal, I should say. It's what it reminds me of. These colours. Look at these massive like cells. Now... My paints were mixed with a mixture. Some of them were 50-50 um, Liquitex pouring medium and some were, uh, and so 50% Liquitex pouring medium and 50% Australian Floetrol. But some of them were just Floetrol and some of them had extra Floetrol in them. So, no silicon used for those that are wondering. Yeah, the center is pretty too. It's a little bright spot. And I like the lacing up here. Little, little bits here and there, but then these boulders of cells. Some lacing down here, and the color is really pretty. Yeah, nice. I'm looking forward to seeing this one dry. I know I say that a lot, but this has got uh, a few different metallics in it. I wonder how the gold will turn out um, because it's it hasn't taken over because it was uh, a mixture of the um, Amsterdam gold and the deco art gold so it be interesting to see if we get any shimmer just having a look to see if i can see some shine through there yeah it should look good all right i'll bring you back when it's dry okay here is the dry result well, let's have a look at the shine That's pretty cool. It's particularly in the uh, deco art, I would say. It's got the biggest shine, the extreme sheen. Now, I've looked at this a few different ways. I actually don't mind this because of the lacing through the top there. But I think the off-center on the sideways also looks good in the landscape. And yeah. This, uh, if you look at this, it kind of looks like uh, maybe like some kind of serpent or dragon that's curled up, swishing around in the water. The head sort of maybe there somewhere. I don't know. But yeah. Quite pretty. It's got some really pretty spots through it. Put it down. Some really pretty movement. The lacing I'm not as sure about. It does break up the, the boulders, so I like that. This seemed to disappear a bit. Um, but the movement of the rest of it is really, really pretty. But yeah, I think, you know, the lacing does break that up a bit. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's it for that one. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.